There we are. So we have done the process of the uh, of the divin, and now we will uh, take this foie gras in the brine. So the brine has, is made with some uh, salt, sugar, oranges, um, some uh, pepper. So you dip, you dip it like this, easily, where it has been open, because it's where you want to have the pot, the juice uh, cooking by inside. And you dip it like this. So it will have the, the water uh, of the flesh of the foie gras will be dis disintegrated, disappeared to the advantage of this brine coming inside the flesh of it and the, the foie gras will be cooked. So at this point, at this stage, we leave it like this. We leave it in the fridge. You do the day before, the day after it's finished. So we are the day after. Uh, the foie gras has been marinated and what, uh, as a result, that's the way it should be. So you see it, it's uh, rolled to make, a, to make a foam, so you can mold it as you wish. You can make a terrain, you can make whatever you want. We can plate it for us. We are, plating, we are cutting some wheels. So on the final plating, it will be presented with, uh, on three, three bits. Um, that's, the, that's the presentation. But it's up to uh, your, your style. Uh, we will uh, uh, now work on the um, garnish going with this. So you've got some green gauge. And this green gauge, to make um, the green gauge a pulp, we are using some uh, pectin and some lemon juice. So we are cook them. We are cooking them to make this kind of uh, puree. And so you've got a hint of acidity. And we are also working on the mirabelles, which are very seasonal. Um, the season is quite short. It takes uh, three weeks maximum. So we need to buy quite a big quantity. And that's why we pickle them. Because like that, you can keep them for at least two months in the fridge, in the pickle. So the idea for this dish, we will play uh, in terms of uh, um, taste with some kind of plum wine, some lychee, mirabelles, green gauge, and also some crumble, which is salted. So it's, a, it's like a short crust, but uh, finished with some salt and hibiscus. So the hibiscus, it's a flower which is dry, but we receive it dry and we crush it. So we make a powder and we finish it with salt. And this is the seasoning of the uh, shortbread. So at the end of the day, you got a taste of uh, it's, it's savory. And that will be, instead of having some bread, we will have the foie gras on a bed of this kind of uh, um, uh, shortbread, savory shortbread. And you will have some mirabelles and some coulis and some wine which is just flamed and reduced and um, we put a bit of uh, some tom gum in it to make it more like a kind of a gel, like a, like a sauce gel. And that's actually the, the finished uh, foie gras. All right, so to make the pickle, we will, uh, because we, we want to have this kind of fruit, which you respect the taste of the Mirabelle, but also you want to increase the, uh, the fruitiness. Uh, because of the rest of the dish. So uh, to make the recipe, uh, you know, uh, working nicely all together. So the idea is to make, to, um, to make the mirabelles with this kind of hint of lychee. Uh, so it's like, um, it's, it's like an alcohol, but uh, very, very, um, um, it's 20 degrees actually, but it's, a, um, it's, it's, it's like, a, it's more syrup, uh, taste with, uh, with lychee uh, marinated in it, but you've got a hint of alcohol in it. And we use some white balsamic vinegar and some grape seed oil. So in the pan, you put some, a bit of the white balsamic vinegar, a bit of sherry vinegar, some grape seed oil. some salt, also some piment. So in the Gascon uh, style, we use a lot of piment from Espelette. Espelette is a tiny village near Biarritz where this uh, piment, it's uh, very, very famous. And um, it doesn't have the, um, like the cayenne, the intensity. Uh, so it's, uh, it's spicy, but not intense. That's why it makes this big difference. And we put a hint of the lychee taste on it 
we go to the boiling of it and when it's uh, boiling we put the mirabelles in it and we cook them for flash like uh, 10 seconds and after we leave them in the in the liquor and that's the result actually so you, st you still you keep the bones in it to keep the shape of it so we are going to the boil all right so now it's boiling so we put them we wait for a boiling and it's finished Here we are. 